Bitcoin broke through $12,000. Will Bitcoin break $13,000 today? And there is some news about Uniswap that we must go over. All that and more in today's video. So guys, let's check out the chart at the four hour chart on Bitcoin. Look, Bitcoin broke as high as $12,049. So hey, it, bro it broke through 12K, that's what's up. I mean, we're, like we're looking at it on the four hours. So, you know, it, it's a short time preference, but still look, like look at that massive wick right here. We got the wicks and then we got the massive body right like right here. We still have an hour and 45 minutes on this latest four hour candle. Hopefully we can close the body up higher because that would look good. Because so far on the daily, let's go over to daily. We're still looking good. You see this guys, we want, <laughs> we, we, we really want to close above 12K today. We really, really want that to happen. And as always, we need to get above that $12,300 area because that's where the bodies ended here. And we peaked at around 12.5. So especially getting through 12.5, that'd be great. But seeing a 12.3 today, even just slightly above 12,000 would be a lovely close for today since there is about five hours and 44 minutes left on this daily candle. And obviously like throughout the next couple of days, breaking through this 12.5 would be very, very, very important. And it'd be very crucial for, you know, to see where Bitcoin's going in the short term. But as always, long-term Bitcoin way, will definitely get to 20K in my humble opinion, not financial advice. So just keep that in mind. You know, we definitely, let's pull up the weekly. We definitely want to get above the 14K eventually, like I said in my video from yesterday. But look at it, you're going on the hour. Let's, let's check the hour out. Look at that, that on, or no, that's the daily. Here's the hourly. It's not, it's not looking too hot on the hourly because we had this massive wick up here on the hourly. So it's showing a lot of sell pressure. And at least we have some wick right here showing a lot of buy pressure. But hopefully in the next couple hours we can, you know, consolidate out here and break up again. Break through the high of $12,047, and like $47, somewhere like in that range. Break through that, hold above it, you know, hold it as resistance and keep going forward. That would be really cool to see. Um, but we have some, uh, we ha I have to show you the crypto sentiment on crypto Twitter is by Barry Silbert, 13K is so 2017. It's just 2017, you know, it's a, uh, it'd be really cool because he retweeted this to Peter Mike McCormick, which said, you know, will Bitcoin break $12,000 and look at it. Guys, the sentiment is this, guys. The sentiment is so bullish for Bitcoin on crypto Twitter right now. I mean, you have Square that invested $50 million the other week. You got MicroStrategy Incorporated. They almost dropped half a bill on Bitcoin. You have more and more, you know, publicly traded companies dumping money into Bitcoin. Why? Why would they do that? That's so risky. Why? Because they believe the value of the US dollar just keeps decreasing, which has happened over the, the last century. And as Bitcoin will actually increase, which has happened over the last decade. So keep that in mind, in mind, my homies. Just keep that in mind. Are you do you hold any Bitcoin? Are you all into alts? Because that's very risky. Gotta at least have a little bit of Bitcoin, in my personal opinion, not financial advice opinion. Alrighty, guys, on to the next bit of news for today. We had this Uniswap's first governance vote fails. Dot, dot, dot. Despite 98% support. We have to dive into this, guys, because this is very serious. Because we just go over, check out the uni price. Let's see how my uni's doing. My uni is uh, somewhere around here. Too many coins, I can't see it. Look, at on the hourly, oh. Guys, homies, it's not looking good. We're down at 284. Let's check the four hour. Oh my, that, that, that does not look good. Let's check the daily. Uh-oh. Guys, we did not want to get rejected. We did not want to get rejected at the $3. Oop, I did move that earlier by accident. $3 and like 20 cent area. We did not want to see rejection there. We saw rejection there. That is not good. I I mean, in the way there's no wick here, obviously it still has five hours and 41 minutes. You know, we still have time to get this wick, of like like a big wick here, you know, the body to move up. But guys, it's not looking good right now. It's, lo it's looking like we're definitely gonna have to bounce off the $2 and 50 cent area. And that analyst from the other video I made earlier this week may be right. We may see a sub $2 uni. Are you buying or selling below $2? Let me know down in the comments below. It's not looking good, but let, let, like, let's dive into this article. It says Uniswap's first governance proposal has ended in defeat with votes in favor and falling a whisker short of required threshold. Uh oh. It says the first governance vote for decentralized exchange Uniswap has ended in failure, despite the proposal attracting overwhelmingly support of 98% of votes cast. Despite this, it fell roughly 1% short of the 40 million vote threshold needed for approval by the closing uh, by the close of voting. The poll ended earlier today with almost 39.6 million uni staked in favor, compared to roughly 700,000 opposed. DeFi blogger 
Danger Safety Third Zanga described the vote as the DeFi equivalent of winning the popular vote but losing the the electoral college. <laughs> I love it. The, the like the way our our vote vo uh, can't talk the way our voting system works. <laughs> Funny. It says ironically, the proposal sought to reduce the number of tokens needed to submit and pass proposals. It was put forward by open source lending protocol and major uni token holder Daharma. Guys, we talked about Daharma before on this channel. Currently, proposals can only be made by entities holding at least 1% of UNI's circulating supply, which is 10 million UNI worth around $30 million, and need to surpass 40 million total votes worth 130 million to pass. Daharma's recommendations would lower the threshold so holders of at least 3 million, which is 9 million, like million in UNI, could suggest upgrades and only require 30 million supporting votes hundred million dollars for a proposal to pass guys they want to lower the requirements which i mean sounds great for the smaller guys the smaller guys that that you know still load up because i mean the thresholds right now are pretty high and I, I understand why they have concerns continuing on responding to the votes conclusion daharma ceo and co-founder nadav hollander described the results as a disappointing outcome that demonstrates the impetus for the proposal in the first place However, Daharma's proposal was not well was not welcomed by all within the DeFi space. With critics pointing out that if it was passed, just two entities, Daharma and blockchain simulation platform Gauntlet, would almost have the number of tokens needed to find Quorthum between them. Daharma currently controls 15 million uni in a single address. Some onlookers hailed the vote as a success, with the crypto developer Augustin Aguilar arguing that voter abstinence should be understood as a barometer of opposition to the proposal. So he sees kind of a silver lining on this. And then, so uh, Nada from Daharma said, a disappointing outcome that demonstrates the impetus for the proposal in the first place. Despite the voting having 85 plus percent turnout, greater than 95% support with 272 voting for and 48 voting against, the vote still failed. There is a silver lining though. And, and, like it's just crazy we shall see what happens and then augustine aguilar said it's impossible to know how many of the abst abstained votes wanted to vote no with a quorum of greater than 50 percent abstaining means voting no and many voters knew that so guys what do you think about what happens today guys th this is breaking news about uniswap this is breaking this is definitely not good you know you go over to the price the price it did not react well to this bad news. Obviously, it, re it reacted accordingly to bad news. I mean, it dumped, right? It dumped. You just saw your uni bags go and down, um, which is not cool because obviously, as an investor, you don't want to see your bags go down. So, yeah, that's that. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. And, guys, got to give you a friendly reminder. Pomp, you know, at Pomp, at A Pompliano, give him a follow on Twitter. He has a great, great recommendations for the Bitcoin bull runs. This is his highlights. Important message as we enter the next bull run market. Bitcoin is very volatile. Yes, Bitcoin is very volatile. All coins are very volatile. Be careful. It says you can lose all your money. That's true. Invest only what you can afford to lose. Only invest what is okay to lose. Okay, I just said that. Twitter is not investment advice and YouTube is not investment advice either. YouTube is not, is not investment advice. Just make sure you guys got that. Don't buy Bitcoin with credit cards. Yes, please don't get over leveraged. You get over leveraged, you want to be able to sleep at night. And keep low time preference. Yeah, guys, keep it low. And do your own research. You know, D-Y-O-R, do your own research. Make your own decisions. Put on your big girl, put on your big boy pants, and make those decisions. So, guys, that's wrapping the video up for today. What do you guys think about Bitcoin breaking through $12,000 earlier today? It was actually just like 20 minutes ago today. I mean, it's holding at $11,946 at the time of this recording. But I like looking on the hourly. It's, uh, you know, hopefully we can consolidate and bounce back up. What do you guys think about that? And what do you guys think about this whole Uniswap's first governance votes fails? It failed, guys. Homies, it failed. That's a little worrisome. I see there's worrisome in the comments about Uniswap. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments below. And what about Pomp's suggestions for the next bull run? Let me know down below. And as always, homies, this is not financial advice. Pure education, entertainment only. If you guys like the video, smash that like button. Subscribe for more content. Because the Crypto Homie, signing out.